Hi Pisces, this is your May 2021 general monthly tarot reading. My name is Hannah, welcome to my channel. And it's such an honor to be a part of your wondrous experience today. So we're gonna go ahead and look into your energy for this month. Let's look and see what's in store for you guys. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the month of May. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in May 2021. impasse so there's some sort of blockage here I feel as though it's a mental block to be completely honest with you with this nine of swords it feels like somebody here has like anxieties or fears that are keeping them from moving forward with something but with the moon being present in this card, um, and I also have the moon here on the dice, this is telling me that like somebody's fears and anxieties are kind of bordering on delusions. <laughs> like, let's be real. <laughs> like somebody here is like so deathly afraid of something or so afraid of, um, I don't know, maybe like conflict, especially if you're dealing with a Libra. You have the Empress here at the bottom of the deck. Six of Pentacles, the King of Swords. So, strong, strong Libra energy present. You don't have to be dealing with a Libra. Um, you could just be dealing with somebody who you feel is very balanced. Maybe you feel this person is very physically attractive with the Empress. Um, maybe you feel like this person is stable. All of that stuff, all of the things that are affiliated with the Libra energy. Um, there's a very generous presence here strong air sign energy once again like you could be dealing with a libra but i feel as though someone is not opening themselves up to receiving there's a really generous energy here but the impasse card is telling me that this generosity is not being received so it's like somebody who's trying really hard to give here and then somebody's not taking so this can be a multitude of things. For some of you, like you might be trying to give to somebody and you feel like this person is not being receptive to your generous gestures. Um, or this could be you, like somebody could be trying to give to you and you're not really receptive, or sorry, you're not really receiving what they have to give you for whatever reason. interesting yeah I feel like for some of you like it might be someone from your past you have the knight of swords and the renewal card at the bottom of the decks so this is telling me that someone here is aggressively trying to pursue something and it's interesting because in the original six of pentacles card there's two people involved so it feels as though some of you are you know distributing your energy between two people so there could be somebody here who you're connecting with that's maybe new um or just like somebody who it could be from your past there's just two individuals here that's what i'm picking up there's a situation where maybe you are distributing your time equally between two people or like you're distributing your generosity or this person is distributing their generosity equally between two people but to be completely honest, guys, like I feel as though someone from your past is coming around to offer you something. But I don't know if you're very receptive. So once again, that could be that energy. Maybe somebody from your past is coming back to be very generous with you and to offer you something. Yeah, because they feel like you're a soulmate. Um, but I don't see you being very receptive to this energy. Yeah, once again, balance, you have this Libra energy present. There's a strong Libra in here, guys. You could have multiple Libra placements. Um, or this person could have multiple Libra placements. I'm also seeing a business offer. Like somebody could be aggressively trying to push you to maybe work for them or something like that. For some of you, this could be for the government.
King of Swords twice. And the Lovers, you could be dealing with the Gemini. But I see where, you know, once again, like somebody here is trying to offer something. There's this energy of somebody who's being generous and there's an energy of somebody who's being closed off. With the King of Swords coming up twice, I definitely feel like this energy is being mirrored. It feels as though maybe two parties here are being quite cold and closed off and guarded with the King and Ace of Swords. The King of Swords comes up twice too. So there's this energy of being super guarded towards somebody because maybe a lack of trust. Or being guarded towards some kind of opportunity because of a lack of trust. I'm also seeing a business idea. So some of you may have a very promising business idea, but you don't really know how to get there with the impasse card. It's like some of you need a partner, and not even a romantic partner, but just somebody else who can help you attain this goal. Because the impasse is almost like maybe a skill that you lack or something like that with the Ace of Swords. Or maybe resources with the Six of Pentacles. But some of you lack something that is keeping you from attaining some kind of goal that you have. Um, and I'm seeing where there could be somebody here that comes through in the month of May that may be offering you this resource or maybe offering you this particular skill. Like offering help with this skill. Yeah, Six of Cups. Definite reconciliation, guys. Strong Libra energy again. Very strong Libra energy. You have the Page of Pentacles and the Sun card. So you have a lot of options here in the month of May, Pisces. You're just radiating this energy with the sun. You have this very nurturing presence to you and it's drawing people in. They wanna know you, they wanna know who you are. People see you around um, and they're like, who is that? Who is Pisces? I want to know them. But like some of you may be very reserved and like people can't get to know you because of that. It may even be people from your past. Like you may be pretty surprised, like people who once rejected you or who once turned away from you. And this is a very common energy that I've been picking up throughout the month of May. Um, people who once rejected you or once made you feel like you weren't good enough are now coming around and trying to be warm and kind and, and offer you something. But I think some of you are just like, absolutely not. <laughs> But the Page of Pentacles is an opportunity, so I definitely do pick up some kind of work opportunity here. For some of you, like I said, there's gonna be some kind of connection that you make. Maybe it's in the workplace, maybe not. Um, and it's gonna be a resourceful connection. It's gonna be a valuable connection. So you're talking to the right people in May, especially for those of you who are looking to maybe start a business or you're looking to um, start some kind of career path. I see you meeting somebody in the month of May who can kind of help put you on this path. Now this can be a multitude of people. It can be like a business partner. It can be a mentor. It's just somebody who um, can offer you what you feel you're lacking in a specific situation. Interesting, okay. Now we have the emperor. So an extra card fell out, but I'll go ahead and give it to you guys because I love you guys, okay? <laughs> you guys are special. Um, but I'm definitely seeing, yeah, you got the Empress too. You have the Emperor and the Empress. So there's somebody here that some of you feel like is a really good match. You may feel like this is power couple energy. You're like, oh, I have all of these skills. They have all of these skills. Let's put our heads together and create something with the Six of Pentacles. Especially with the sun card, like that's definitely an idea. Like somebody who's been having an idea for a while um, with the six of cups, especially if you're dealing with a Libra, like they may have had some kind of very valuable idea. And I think someone here is going to be trying to get in on that idea. Or maybe you yourself have Libra placements and you feel like you have a really good idea. 
Um, and there's going to be people around you who kind of want in on this because it is. It's a very good idea with the Sun card. But with the Ace of Swords and the Seven of Swords, I do see you cutting away the bullshit and just basically cutting to the chase and being like, look, this is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm feeling. I don't want to beat around the bush with the Seven of um, Swords. I just want to be upfront and honest. So somebody here is being very direct and very honest and very forward in the month of May. And if they haven't been, well, they're going to be. <laughs> um, with the Swords, it's like, you know, this doesn't necessarily, because there's no tower here, this doesn't necessarily give me the vibe of like secrets coming out. This gives me more of a vibe of somebody saying what's on their mind, maybe what's been on their mind, what they've been keeping. So this can also be you, especially if you yourself are a Pisces with strong air placements or maybe Leo in your chart. Um, you may be telling somebody something that you've been kind of keeping for a while. There's also an energy of frustration here. Like there's a frustrated energy um, and there's, I don't know, this is, this is weird. So someone feels frustrated either because they don't feel like they can express themselves fully or they don't feel like they're being expressed too fully. I guess I worded that wrong. This person, like either you don't feel like somebody's expressing something to you fully or somebody feels like you're not expressing yourself to them fully. And it's causing a bit of frustration with the emperor. But I do see an offer being made here. Like somebody here is definitely going to be making an offer, especially if you're dealing with a Taurus. I pick up a strong Taurus presence, maybe even an Aries. Um, but more so Taurus, to be completely honest. Um, this person is going to be making an offer because they see you as very attractive. You've had some kind of glow up. That's kind of what I pick up with the Page of Pentacles going to the Empress. Especially if you yourself are a Pisces with Taurus in your chart. You've had a glow up. And it's like now that you've had this glow up, all of a sudden this person or maybe these couple of people want to come around and want to offer you something. But I'm seeing here where someone makes someone's heart skip a beat. With the Empress energy and the Emperor and the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, this is very physical. There's a lot of physical responses to love to the love that you feel for this person or the love that you feel for this particular job because for some of you this is with your work like you just get so excited to go and you know get work done and pursue this path with the sun card it's very much a happy-go-lucky energy it feels good you have the two of cups beautiful And then you have the Nine of Pentacles. Someone here is very attractive, or someone sees you as very attractive, and you know they do. You know they do. <laughs> with the Queen of Wands, you could be dealing with a Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Possibly an Aries or Leo, because I do have the Emperor and the Sun. If you've had some kind of idea, guys, and you've been kind of bouncing ideas back and forth with somebody else, because I really do pick up here that there's some kind of business partnership that's about to form. Um, strong 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 air and earth sign energy so some of you guys could be dealing with these placements um, if not i'm picking up where there's going to be a need for direct and honest upfront communication about these financial decisions um, because for some of you like you may be afraid to talk about these things with people or you may be afraid to talk about like finances or something like that with someone and especially for those of you who are like moving in with someone, that's kind of what I'm picking up, especially um, you might be like being somebody's roommate or like moving in with your partner. I'm seeing a lot of that for those of you who are already in relationships, like you might be taking your relationship to the next level in the sense that like you might be moving in together. And there's this need to really focus on how well and effective you communicate over your finances because that can be something that 
I'm almost feeling like somebody might kind of tiptoe around or like not want to be direct with and it's ultimately going to do more harm than good. So just get the uncomfortable conversations out of the way, guys. Um, that way you can just continue to move forward into your happiness and abundance because that's what it looks like is coming towards you in the month of May. I think some of you are feeling really good about your situation. Like you got your person, you know, you've got whatever this opportunity is. It just feels really good. A lot of blessings are coming into your life in the month of May. And I think a lot of you guys are going to be feeling really good. You may notice a sense of like life kind of slowing down with the impasse card and that might make you feel anxious especially for those of you who are kind of in like a mentality of like go 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 all the time um you may find this period to be a little stressful so it, it feels like something is not moving forward during this time but it will be for some of you like you may not notice things moving forward for like another um roughly like month or so like you may finally start to see things progressing but for the month of may there's a lot of pentacles here so it feels very stagnant it feels like a lot of mental energy like you're having ideas you're doing things in your head maybe you're in your head because things are kind of slowing down um so just you know use this time to focus on yourself focus on your rest and your well-being with the empress that's what you're being called to focus on during this time is your well-being and everything else is falling into place, Pisces. That's what I'm seeing, especially involving your relationships and involving a home or involving a job. There's something here that's just kind of working itself out. So you really, um, you really don't have to do too much. Like you're very much aligned to whatever this is. So it's just kind of flowing into your life. But I definitely do feel as though there is a strong connection with someone here who is very attractive or who finds you very attractive. Or maybe because of the two of pentacles, or sorry, the two of cups, the energy is mirrored. So this is a mutual energy. I do feel as though the emotion here and the connection here is mutual. Um, one person may, or actually, I don't know, I think it might actually be both of you, to be honest. Like, two people here are coming off very guarded. So it's like the emotion is here, but there's these walls that are being put up on both ends, and it's possibly creating a space um, for a lack of forward movement um, or it's not necessarily creating the space it's taking away the space for forward movement to happen so if this is something that you want to progress with I do recommend maybe you know kind of bringing those walls down a bit and being vulnerable but I almost feel like somebody here has been deceived in the past um, like significantly with the ace of swords like there's a significant event in your past or in this person's past where they've been deceived and i feel like this is heavily affecting it might once again like it might even be both of you because the energy's mirrored so it's like both guards are up here because both parties have been in a similar situation and now it's kind of like they're like okay what are you gonna do how are you gonna hurt me you know what I mean? That's kind of this energy that I'm picking up. It's like this person's almost anticipating failure with that nine of swords that I pulled at the beginning of the reading. Or this could be you. You could be anticipating failure. So have a little bit more optimism. Somebody here needs to have a little bit more optimism with the sun. Maybe both people. I think both of you and this person need to have a little bit more optimism, even if it's not a romantic thing, even if it's just like a business partnership or you're going to be moving in with somebody or a friendship. There needs to be a sense of optimism and open, honest communication. But that is what I'm seeing here, Pisces. If you'd like to book a personal reading, go ahead and click the link down below in the description box. It'll take you to my website and you can book there. But other than that, I'll see you later. Take care and have a beautiful rest of your month, guys. Bye-bye.